Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So for our daily dose of the new Bing chat for this week, Microsoft has rolled out a couple of more improvements. And um, there are a couple of improvements now to different components of the new Bing that Microsoft has rolled out for this week. And as I have been posting, and as many of you will know, uh, Microsoft basically rolls out improvements and updates to the new Bing every week. Now, for the first of three updates, just to focus on for the purpose of this video, um, Microsoft says that they have now extended the maximum length of chats. So you can have, for example, conversations about longer documents. So to basically sum that up, that means that um, you can introduce more details and specific commands for Bing for each turn. Um, so you can now have a longer chat length limit, allowing you to submit inputs like long documents all at the same time. And as many of you can see and may know, um, the limit of the chat currently is 2,000 characters. So you only get 2,000 characters that you can input uh, in one go. And at this stage, though, Microsoft hasn't given us any information um, how big this increase will actually be with this update. But nonetheless, they have say, said that you can now um, extend the maximum length of your chat. So it'll be interesting to see how many characters now they will actually introduce. And then the second is they've added the ability to pick up a conversation in the sidebar where uh, you left off. So you can continue in your flow without losing context when you move to the sidebar. And just like the character length, I'm not seeing this as yet. I have fiddled around a little bit before posting, but I'm not seeing as yet um, being able to uh, pick up a conversation uh, in the sidebar where I left off uh, in my main chat and vice versa. But nonetheless, um, that could be on a controlled rollout, which is common for Microsoft to do with new features. Uh, especially with uh, the new Bing chat. So that's another one. You can pick up where you left off in the sidebar. And then while we are with the sidebar, they've also addressed performance issues in the sidebar to help reduce loading errors. So that's a performance boost. And then just on a side note, um, on a side note, um, they've also um, given a dedicated image generator icon now and made that available, the image creator in the sidebar, which I have actually posted on um, quite in depth um, in, a, in previous videos. But nonetheless, just wanted to bring it to your attention that this now is seemingly becoming more widely available with a dedicated image generator icon now, which opens up that image creator in the side panel. And if you are using um, an Android device with the Swift key keyboard, they've also in integrated the ChatGPT powered Bing Chat. Um, in the SwiftKey in beta, the SwiftKey beta, if you are using SwiftKey um, on your mobile device. So I just wanted to let you know about those two other components um, that uh, Microsoft is making available. So that's it for this week. That's um, a couple of new improvements that Microsoft is making available now for the new Bing with the chatbot ChatGPT. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.